What's good guys, so in this video we're going to be going over set core, specifically send notification. Um, so if you go to the set core uh, documentation, you'll see a list of stuff that you can do. Um, one of them is send notification, I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's the, like, whenever you get a friend request in game. So we can use that GUI that Roblox has provided for us and we can do stuff with it. We can like make our own request system for it. So we're just gonna be going over that real quick. So let's just, uh, you, you'd you wanna have like a separate local script, at least that's how I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it like moving forward because uh, the reason why is you'll see in a, you'll see in a second. Um, but yeah, let's also get an event. We'll, we'll do this the old, the old, the old standard. The old standard. So we'll have remote events. Actually, we need a bindable. So yeah, so local bindable events. It says to use, it says to use a bindable function though. So in the documentation, I've tried using a remote event that didn't work. Um, it says to use a bindable function. So we're just going to be using a bindable function uh, for this video. So yeah. Bindable functions. Uh, local, what are we going to call our request event? Request, uh, request. We'll just call it request for now, dude. Request, um, bindable functions. Yeah, we'll just call it request. I don't know what else to call it. All right, so. On request. This is actually going to be our remote event. So we do need a remote event as well. So, remote events. so we're going to have to create a remote events as well. So what is our request? That's going to be our remote event is request and then callback is going to be our bindable all right bindable functions all right so um let's say we have a message we'll have a message here and we'll have, um, that's it. That's all we'll do for now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do start a GUI, set core, and then we're gonna pass in send notification. And now we have to send in this uh, dictionary. So we're gonna have to give it a title. This can be uh, whatever you want. It has to be a string. You can give it a title, which is uh, gonna be Alert. We'll just do alert. And then we'll have a text. So this is going to be the message or description for our notification. So we'll just have, oops, shoot. We'll just have message be right there. And then callback. So this is going to be what happens when we click a, um, when we click one of the buttons and the, uh, argument is going to be the name of the button the, the the string that is attached to the button so yeah like the text associated with the button so this is where we're going to put our uh bindable function so now we're going to have a button and we're going to say um you know uh Dismiss, I guess, because we're going to dismiss the alert, I guess. So, yeah. Um, and then we'll have request. 
uh, on current event connect on request and that should be it for this um for this like this is pretty much it and then now we're gonna have a a separate local script that is going to pick up our bindable um call back that's gonna pick up our bindable and we're just gonna print that out for now we don't need requests we don't need remote events and I don't believe we need starter GUI so callback dot event connect um and then yeah button name and we're just gonna print Prints out our button name. I think that's pretty much uh, it for this. I don't know. We'll see if we're, we're testing. We run into some some problems. But let's go ahead and get into what we're gonna get into now, which is setting up our little test uh, script or whatever. Okay, so, actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. So we had request, right? Yeah, we had request. Um, that is a remote event. Then we had a callback, and that is a bindable function. You might be able to use an event. I'm not too sure though, a bindable event. It did not work when I tried it with the mode event. I was just curious. And then, um, yeah. Cool. And so what we're gonna do is, uh, actually, yeah, we just need that, okay. Or wait, how did I set this up? I did add folders. All right, I guess I'll just do that real quick. So now we're going to set up this test real quick. So I'm just going to do this real quick. So we're gonna do player. What is it? Bruh, I'm I'm over here drawing a blank. Over here drawing a blank. Um request. Yeah. Fire client. And then we'll do um could just do fire all clients, but whatever. And then we'll do player um this alert is 
here to say your refrigerator is broken boom request it if and now what we're gonna do is it just a task that weight of like um seven so i think this is i don't know let's test it Just test it real quick, see if it works. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a request, but I might have joined later. Oh, this. Okay, right. Got you. What are we missing here? I didn't name these. Findable functions. Remote events. This is in findable events, findable functions. I'm just not gonna name it because it's like whatever. I meant to do functions, but whatever. Okay, so I think this is good. Let's see what happens, dude. Let's see what happens, man. Who freaking knows? Event is not a valid member of bindable function. Findable functions away for child callback. Oh, that's right. Okay. Because it's a function. All right, so we're on a callback. Um, button name. Uh, and then I guess we're just going to print this. And then we're going to say... Um, on invoke i guess that I, I think that's it i don't know i'd have to check i might have to check the documentation i might have to check the documentation because i forgot we're not getting the, oh alert this alert is here to say your refrigerator is broken oh, gee. and then you can see here we have the dismiss message and it's popping up and then that's our argument that we get and so from here you can communicate to the server and do whatever you need to do if you need to do that you know what i'm saying but i would definitely have two separate scripts for this just to keep it i feel like it'd be more organized because you, you need to have the use of the bindable function here i believe i couldn't get it to work with a remote event i didn't try a bindable event but even if you had a bind if you need to use a bindable event you're still needing like two local scripts here so yeah, um, that's pretty much it though. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.